All right, forgot to get a battery for the mic, so audio might be a little sketchy, but we're here on Smith Lake, clear water, especially in clear water, but around the spawn, going into post-spawn, fish can be finicky, it's clean water, thing I'll follow around to really see what's swimming around me. Gets a lot of bites, is a wacky finesse worm. This is the Divine Shaky Worm in Bluegill Fire, and we want to talk about just a sick color you know i'm seeing a lot of bluegill swimming around with these bass they're trying to spawn bluegill are really making a statement so how i rig it wacky i've got here my sniper wacky hook and this is the weedless hook and this is a number one i use a number one or number two number one fishing up shallow number two fishing like offshore spotted bass uh but it's got a the O'Shaughnessy bend in it, a little bit of an offset, it catches them. And these wire weed guards allow me to throw it around bushes without having to worry about getting hung up all the time. One thing trick when you're throwing around bushes is don't to be real forceful with it. You feel it going up to a bush, just ease it through there. If it happens to get just barely hung up, you can just pop your rod, pop the line, and it'll come free. It's a sick little hook, sick little style of fishing. One I do a lot this time of year rigging it so i use these little they're clear little sleeves that you use for wacky worming oh. check that dude out clear little sleeves that you use for wacky worming so i buy them off tackle warehouse not sponsored by them you can find them wherever take this tool you can use any kind of separator tool and what it does is as i mash it down it pulls that plastic apart with a traditional o-ring i find that it's harder to to really get my hook to stay in the worm um, it wants to slide out of the o-ring so with this deal i'll separate it push my worm through i push it about i'd say a little over a quarter of the way through about a third of the way through on the head and so on the fat side it's sitting like that in the water not you know, the Cinco, I might go 50-50, but with a finesse worm, that's how I rig it. And with that plastic piece and this hook, I'll hook it through the plastic. So, I'm a lot less likely to go through worms to throw my bait off. Um, and I like how that sits offset perpendicular to my worm. So, the hook's pointing this way, worms that way. Increases my hookup ratio. When I'm throwing around shallow, five foot or less, nail weight this is a 132nd ounce and i'll put it in the head of the worm and put a little dab of glue on there crazy glue is my preference i'm ready to roll divine shaky worm bluegill fire it's a sick color check it out and uh that right there is a spawn, post-spawn killer. When you're going down the bank, just throw it out in front of you, throw it around targets, it gets bites. So, check it out.